sound good. The verse is Psalm 71 19 and it says you have done such wonderful things. Who can compare with you O God? Who can compare with you? Who can compare? Who can we compare God to? No one. He's unique. He's way above all of us and he looks down in love. He loves us. He, he cares for us and we love him back, don't we? Well, the story is called Blowout, and it's a story about Jason. Jason had a big brother. His name was Jeff. He really liked his big brother. He admired his big brother. There was quite a bit of uh, difference in age between Jason. He was the young one, and Jeff was the older one. But he loved Jeff. He thought Jeff was just great. But the problem is Jeff went off to college. And he left, he had, and so he was gone. He only came home at Thanksgiving time and Christmas time and spring break and maybe once in a while some other times, but he didn't get to come home very much and Jason didn't get to see him very much. But Jason was excited because Jeff was coming home for a visit. And he told Jason that he was bringing his girlfriend, Sandy. And Jason hadn't met his girlfriend. He thought, oh, I wonder what she's like wonder if she's pretty. And that's not all. Jeff said, while we're at home, there's a Christian concert in town, and so I bought tickets for us to go. I want to take you. And I bought an extra one, so why don't you bring a friend? And Jason thought, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, because Jay, uh, Jeff had said it was a really good concert, that they would really like it. And Jason got so excited. Now he was excited about Jeff coming home because he loved to see Jeff. He was excited about meeting Jeff's girlfriend. And he was excited about going to the concert. So he was just really excited. Jeff had planned all kinds of fun things when he came home because he liked his little brother, Jason, too. Wasn't that sweet? So Jason thought, who shall I invite? Who shall I invite to go to the concert? And he was at school, and when he was sitting there, he was looking around. Oh, shall I invite? Shall I invite him? Or shall I invite him? He says, I'm going to invite Corey, because I really like Corey. Corey and I are really good friends. In fact, he's probably my best friend. And so after class one day, he said, hey, Corey, my brother Jeff is coming home for a visit. And he's bringing his girlfriend, so we get to meet her. And he's going to take us to a concert. And he has an extra ticket and he said, I can invite a friend. I was wondering, Corey, if you'd like to go with me. And Corey said, oh yeah, that sounds great. What kind of concert? And then Jason thought about how am I gonna say what kind of concert? Well, it's a Christian concert. He said, if you don't wanna go, you don't have to, because Corey wasn't a Christian. And Corey said, oh, a Christian concert? He says, hmm, I didn't know they had them. What's it like? Jason said, well, I don't know, but my big brother said it's really a good concert. He said, I would really like it. And Corey thought about it and he says, come on, Corey, come with me. You'd like it too, I'm sure. Corey said, okay, I'll come with you. I've never been to a Christian concert before, but I'll go with you. So they had to wait for three weeks before Jeff came home and the concert. But Corey said he'd go with Jason. So they had to wait and wait and wait. Do you like waiting for things? Do you like waiting for Christmas? Do you like waiting for your birthday? I don't think so. Time just goes by so slow. Oh, well, three weeks finally went by. And Jeff came driving in with Sandy's girlfriend. And they got there in the evening. 
and he brought Sandy and he carried Sandy's suitcases into the house and mom had a lovely dinner all ready. And Jeff said, oh, uh, mom, this is Sandy. And Jason, this is Sandy, my girlfriend. And Sandy said, hi, Jason. And Jason thought, oh, she's pretty. <gasps> That's Jeff's girlfriend. Mm. And then Jeff introduced uh, Sandy to his dad and they took Sandy to a spare bedroom and, and said, here, this is your bedroom for the weekend. She said, oh, thank you. And mom said, I just about have dinner ready. And so mom put a really nice dinner on, set the table really nicely. And, and Sandy freshened up. And, and uh, then Jeff and Jason were talking. And, and Jason was so excited that his big brother came home because he loved his big brother. And Sandy seemed like a really nice girl. And so here came Sandy out, looking so pretty and fluffy with her hair and, and her pretty clothes. And Mom said, come, come, it's time for dinner. Come, uh, Sandy and Jeff, you can sit right over there. And Jason, you can sit here. And, and Dad came and they all sat down. And they had the blessing and thanked the Lord that uh, Jeff and Sandy had a safe trip. They had a lovely dinner. Mom had made a really nice dinner because, you know, she, she wanted to, uh, Sandy to think highly of the family. And they had a lovely dinner and visited. Well, the visit went very nicely. Well, the next evening was the concert, and Jason was so excited. He said, Jeff, you think the concert is good? Jeff said, oh, yeah, I've heard them before. They're really good. And I have a ticket for you, and who, you, who did you invite? He said, I invited Corey, my best friend. He said, oh, great, that's great, that's good. And is Corey going to come here or are we going to pick him up at his house tomorrow night? He says, I don't know. I better talk to him. So the next day at school, he said, do you want us to pick you up at your house? Corey said, that would be great because I don't have a car and I don't drive. And so they said, okay, we'll pick you up at your house. So the evening came. Uh, uh, Jason went home and had some supper and they were hurrying, you know, because they want, it was quite, as a, quite a ways to drive to the concert. And they went by. Uh, Corey's house and then when Corey jumped in the car Jeff said okay before we go let's just ha uh, have a word of prayer let's ask the Lord to go with us and so he bowed his head and he reached over and he took Sandy's hand Sandy was sitting in the front seat and Jeff was driving and Corey and Jason were in the back seat and Corey thought they're praying in a car and Jeff bowed his head and he said, Dear Lord, thank you that we get to go to this concert. Uh, keep us safe on the roads and help us to always glorify you. Amen. And then everyone put their seatbelts on. Oh, this was going to be great. And Corey thought, it's so strange that they prayed before they left in the car. I've never heard of that. So Jeff started the car and off they went. And they said, oh, they're going to have a good time. He's with his big brother and his friend. And they're going to have this concert that Jeff says is really good. His, his big brother said is really good. Off they went. They were sailing down this freeway. And it was a very, very busy freeway. There were cars coming and going and coming and going. And um, Sandy said, is it always this busy on this road? Jeff said, oh, yeah, this is a busy road. And they were driving sudden a big explosion and the car started skidding this way and skidding this way and skidding and all over the place and then all of a sudden it just it just stopped and jeff said he jumped down he's oh no we had a blowout he says let's push the car off and he looked and there are no cars coming and they started pushing 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 and they pushed the car right off the road as soon as they got the car off the road car started zooming by again zoom 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 and um so they had it off the car and sure enough one tire was gone completely it was a blowout it was bad and so uh, Jeff got the spare tire out and the jack and jacked up the car and took that off and put the spare on and and put the uh old tire in the back got everything done and then he was sitting there looking waiting for the cars to stop so he'd get back in the, on the highway a busy highway and sandy spoke up she said jeff he said yeah he said it 
was so strange. This road is so busy. I just was talking about how busy it was. And just when we had the blowout, there were no cars. And Jeff said, yeah, you're right. And Corey in the back seat, oh yeah, they're right. And as soon as we got the car pushed off the road, then the car started speeding by again. And Sandy said, I don't think that was an accident, Jeff. I think God protected us. What do you think? Anyway, they went on to the concert. They had a wonderful time. It was a wonderful Christian concert. They loved it. It was wonderful. And Corey had never heard of anything like that before. And he even had a good time. They came back home and they had had a really good evening. And Corey got to thinking, they pray before they eat. They pray before they go on a trip. They pray all the time. But you know what? They asked the Lord for protection. And what did the Lord do? He gave them protection. He just stopped the cars right when they had the blow. Just think. If their cars would have still been coming and they would have had a blot and they would have been turned sideways on the highway, they would have, could have all been killed. That would have been really bad. But God saved them. I think that is so sweet of our God. I want to thank you. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for stopping the cars, it seemed like, while they had the blowout. Otherwise, it could have been really bad, but you saved them. Thank you for always being with us, Lord. For Jesus' sake, amen.